Greetings, friends around the world. This is Dr. Bob Teal for the Bible News Prophecy Channel. Today I want to talk about Germany and World War III. Huh? Well, you know about Germany and World War I and World War II. I saw a headline I want to read here and, and some excerpts from this article. It's, it says, Third time the charm. After starting both World Wars I and II, Germany now calls for the creation of a massive European army. And then some particular article quotes Angela Merkel, who's the current chancellor of Germany. It says, What's really important if we look at the developments of the past year is that we need to have to work on a vision of one day creating a real, true European army. Only a stronger Europe is going to defend Europe. Europe must take our fate into our hands if we want to protect our community. And many people thought that was a great idea. Some people at the speech didn't care much for it. I'd like to read uh, uh, something else from the article, just to kind of refresh everybody's memory. It says... If history is any guide to future events, Germany will indeed be the driving force behind the start of World War III, whenever that finally begins. There's just something about the minds of the German people in Europe that leads them toward dreams of world domination. They came pretty close in World War I. They came frighteningly close in World War II. And one might well imagine a third time just may be the charm. In 2018, Germany is a de facto leader of the European Union. They have the strongest economy, and now they want to lead an effort to create a European army to defend themselves from Russia, China, and the U.S. Hmm, does anyone else find that interesting? Well, Angela Merkel wasn't the only person calling for such a thing. French President uh, Emmanuel Macron said the same thing. When, and when he'd said it, he upset U.S. President Donald Trump. Now, these aren't the only people who are kind of wondering about all this. Over in the UK, Nigel Farage uh, made a few comments. He actually thanked Angela Merkel for her comments. And then he said, without you, we would have never made it over the line with Brexit. So he felt that her policies in terms of immigration were a factor in getting the, the British people to vote to leave the European Union. But he had a few other comments that I'd like to read from Nigel Farage. He said... It's a European Union. It's now to become an empire, a militarized European Union. 100 years on from the armistice, we should be generally worried. The idea that this new militarized union is somehow a recipe for peace means you should all reread history. The European project was set up to stop German domination. What you see today is naked takeover bid. So he's concerned that what's going on is going to result in Germany rising up and dominating uh, the world, if you will. There are various other ones who are concerned about this. But many in Europe want a military. They've got something called PESCO. And I'd like to read a comment from EU Council President Donald Tusk. He said that basically that PESCO was bad news for our enemies. And according to an article uh, from Ireland, it says, he's clearly anticipating combat operations. So yes, the reality is the Europeans are looking at putting together an army, a military, and this military certainly could affect or cause World War III. And the Bible actually says that. I'd actually like to read something. This is from the old Radio Church of God. I'll read just a couple of comments from this. This is from an uh, article from the Plain Truth Magazine, of January 1963, from the late Dr. Herman Hay, somebody who I didn't know well, but I met several times and had various conversations with in the past. This is under a subheading called Germany in World War III. It says, Germany is going to spark World War III. It says, notice the prophecies. And the prophecies he's referring to from the book of Isaiah, chapter 10, starting in verse 5. So I'm going to read some of this. It says, Woe to Assyria, the rod of my anger, and the staff in whose hand is my indignation. I will set him up against an ungodly nation and against the people of my wrath. I will give him charge to seize the spoil and to take the prey and to tread them down like mire in the streets. Now the old King James Version, instead of calling it an ungodly nation, calls it a hypocritical nation. This is actually a prophecy about the destruction of the United States from a central European power called Assyria in biblical prophecy. Now you say, well, the Germans don't really want to do something like this. Well, let's see what it says in the next verse. Yet he does not mean so, nor does his heart think so, but it is in his heart to destroy and cut off not a few nations. 
So similar to the article I was reading, it says there's something about the Germans that they want to do this type of domination. And you can go through all this and you'll find basically that this is going to happen. And then uh, God will eventually punish them for doing this and punish the heart, according to verse 12, of the arrogant king of Assyria. This particular king of Assyria is also the same person referred to as the king of the north in prophecies such as Daniel chapter 11, verse 39, which basically shows that the United States is going to be taken over by a military power from, from Europe. Now you might think it's not possible the United States could have such problems. Well, there's a report that just came out from the National Defense uh, Strategy Commission, and I'd like to read a couple of sentences from that. It says, The global role the United States has played for many generations rests upon a foundation of unmatched military power. Today, however, our margin of superiority is profoundly diminished in key areas. There are urgent challenges that must be addressed if the United States is to avoid lasting damage to its national security. So some are saying, look, the United States has been really strong, but it may not remain that particular way. I'd like to go to the book of Daniel, Daniel chapter 2, and read a prophecy here. Daniel chapter 2. I'm going to go, and I'm going to start with verse 40. It says, And the fourth kingdom shall be as strong as iron, inasmuch as iron breaks in pieces and shatters everything. And like iron that crushes, that kingdom will break in pieces and crush all others. Where you saw the feet and toes, partly of potter's clay, partly of iron, the kingdom shall be divided, yet the strength of iron shall be in it, just as you saw iron mixed with, mar with ceramic clay. So we're seeing something about a fourth kingdom and a resurrection of this fourth kingdom. And it doesn't unite very well. Well... If you look at what's going on in the European Union, you see that there's a lot of disunity going on over there. Verse 42, it says, As the toes of the feet were partly of iron, partly of clay, so the kingdom will be partly strong and partly fragile. As you saw iron mixed with ceramic clay, they will mingle with the seed of men, but they will not adhere to one another, just as iron does not mix with clay. And in these days of these kings, the God of heaven will set up a kingdom, and he will, he will basically destroy them. We've got a prophecy. This is an end time prophecy of something that's going to come from a fourth beast. Interestingly, the Germans are, many in Germany, some in Germany are looking forward to what's called a fourth Reich. Now, I realize the fourth Reich and the fourth kingdom aren't exactly the same, but it's somewhat of a revival. The Germans considered uh, Adolf Hitler's time uh, the Third Reich, uh, uh, World War II, one I think was supposed to be the Second Reich, and the, sometime in the 1800s was, was the First Reich. Well, basically the Fourth Reich, according to Wikipedia, is supposed to be a theoretical, revived, future German empire. And steps are moving towards that. I actually saw something from the news yesterday uh, talking about a Fourth Reich. I saw some other things in the news that basically what's going to end up going with Brexit actually is going to have to do with the development of a, of a Fourth Reich. What's going on in Europe now is that we're seeing a distance, distancing of the United States and Europe uh, from each other. Furthermore, we're seeing also the UK splitting off. I'm not going to go there, but Lamentations 1, verses 1 and 2 talks about the most powerful place eventually being destroyed by friends which become their enemies. And we're seeing the same thing starting to happen over in Europe. So, is World War III going to come? Yes. Is it going to be a power based out of Europe? Yes. Is it going to impact or destroy a country such as the United States and UK? Yes. And is Germany going to be part of it? Yes. World War III is coming, and Germany is going to be part of it. For more about the identity of Germany, you can go to the cogwriter.com website. We've got a couple of articles that you can tie in ancient history with the Germanic peoples and the Assyrians, as well as prophetic information on those things. But the reality is we are getting closer to the time of World War III, and yes, Germany is going to be part of that. This is Dr. Bob Thiel for the Bible's Prophecy Channel.